You are taking a live look at a lit up Von Brown Center. It's part of the Red Alert Restart Day of Action. This is a nationwide initiative to raise awareness about the economic hit the live events industry is taking during the coronavirus pandemic. The event comes as the number of coronavirus cases increases across North Alabama. Here in the Metro I-65 corridor, Madison, Morgan, Limestone, and Lawrence counties averaged 85 new cases each day in the past week. In the Sand Mountain region, Jackson, Marshall, DeKalb counties averaged 26 new cases over the past seven days. And in the Shoals, Lauderdale, Colbert, and Franklin counties averaged 33 new cases per day over the past week. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Naja Sherman. And I'm Dan Schaefer. The goal of tonight's event is to urge Congress to pass the Restart Act as well as extend pandemic employment assistance. Way 31's Megan Reyna joins us live. She spoke to people who've been working to keep the industry alive during the pandemic. Megan. We Make Events is the organization that started this nationwide initiative. Now, Huntsville's own Justin Young has firsthand experience with how this pandemic has impacted live events. When COVID hit and the live event industry shut down, we were the first ones to shut down, and we're probably the last one that's going to come back. Most people don't think too much about what happens before or after a show. But for Vaughn Brown Center Production Supervisor Justin Young, this call for action is about bringing awareness to an industry crippled by coronavirus. 70, 80, 90 percent of the people in our industry went to zero income immediately. His hope is lawmakers will continue to provide economic relief to those whose jobs have nearly disappeared due to the pandemic. Our income has basically been cut in half. And, it, you know, we're, we're making it through, but I could not imagine some of those people who only do entertainment industry stuff trying to make it through. Andrew Burton is a contractor, mainly dealing with lighting and audio. He says if it wasn't for his wife's income, he'd have to find a new industry entirely. Luckily, performers like Josh Allison found a way to keep an income flowing by live streaming. It was a circus of uncertainty because there was something new every day coming out of the curtain. Allison is aware he was able to find a new avenue for performing, but it doesn't include much help behind the scenes. I mean, I, I hate to say it like this, but I'm glad I'm not a sound or lighting guy, because if I was, it would, I would have to find something else. So while you may never see them in the spotlight, without people like Burton and Young, the show as we knew it can't go on. Uh, I'm just looking forward to spreading out awareness about what we are and who we are because we've always been people in the, behind the scenes you know in the, in the shadows making sure things go right for our artists but you know at a time like this it's time that we need to be heard and you know we want to be seen Young adds this economic impact goes beyond the workers. Live events bring revenue to other businesses in downtown Huntsville. And until big events can be held, here at Mars Music Hall, there will be concerts every weekend. Reporting live in Huntsville, Megan Reyna, Way 31 News.